Greetings. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Petaka Technologies. In this video, let's see how to do some ifs in Power BI DAX with multiple criteria. With Power BI, we can do some ifs in DAX. Also, we can compare some ifs formula in Excel with some ifs column in Power BI. We also find some ifs alternative in Power BI. Let's start. In this example, we have sheet 1 table with multiple columns. From this data, we have already calculated the total sales of each country and in report view, we have visualized in table format. Now, what we need is we need to calculate the total sales only for two countries which is Canada and France. In data view, go to table tools, select new measure. To create a measure, to do sum with multiple categories. Let's make it little bit bigger so that you can visualize this DAX easily. We name this measure as Canada and France sales. Shift enter and write the DAX using calculate function and we use sum function to calculate the total sales and choose sales column from sheet 1 table close the parenthesis comma shift enter now instead of filter function we use r function o r function to apply multiple criteria for some calculation. Then select country column from sheet 1 table equal to within double quotes enter Canada comma shift enter once again we select country column from sheet 1 table equal to within double quotes enter France. Close the parenthesis of R function, close the parenthesis of calculate function, commit. Now go to report view and drag Canada and France measure and place it in values. Change this visual to chord and now you can visualize this here. We can see that Canada and France sales is 49.24 million. Let me use calculator to cross verify it. In calculator, type Canada sales is 24.89 million plus France sales is 24.35 million and total sales of both countries is 49.24 million which is matching. Close the calculator. This is the simplest way to do some ifs using DAX in Power BI. If this video helpful to you, like this video and share this video with others. Ask your questions and share your feedback in comment section. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.